What is up everyone? What is happening 18? So I'm here to give you guys my thoughts about Drake's newest album by the name called Scorpion and this is fifth studio album and it's a total of 25 songs, an hour and 29 minutes total wise as far as listening. So something interesting that I wanted to share with you guys for the individuals that don't have iTunes. For the ones that have iTunes on your computer, you probably have seen this, but I want to share something with you guys that is a quote from Drake and I will put this up on the screen for you guys to see this. And I'm going to read exactly what it says. So what this says, I hate when Drake raps. Drake sings too much. Drake is a pop artist. Drake doesn't even write his own songs. Drake took an L. Drake didn't start from the bottom. Drake is finished. I like Drake's older stuff. Drake makes music for girls. Drake thinks he's Jamaican. Drake is an actor. Drake changed anybody else. Drake, yeah, yeah, we know. I thought it was pretty interesting when I seen something like that and I think it, it really speaks volumes to what a lot of people really think about him. And so with this album, it is split into two different sides. Um, I'm going to call it A side and B side. The first half of the album is a total of 12 songs and I thoroughly enjoyed the first half of this album, uh, especially a couple of the songs. Um, I think ones that really stuck out to me the most was the collaborative song that he had with Jay-Z called Talk Up, which goes hard in my opinion. It's actually one of the one of the best songs I heard Jay-Z collab in, in quite a while. And the other song that I really like a lot was 8 out of 10. And a lot of other songs were pretty good. It was about two songs off, off this first side that I really didn't feel that much, which is probably Sanders Rose and also um, Elevate. Other than that, all the other songs I really liked a lot. The second half of the album is where it really changes and it's more of a softer approach in my opinion and it's not as hard or not you know it doesn't really go in as much as the first half of this album now he does have a couple other collaborative artists that's actually in this he does have a song with michael jackson called don't matter to me and he actually has a song with ty dollar sign and static major called after dark now um it is a couple other songs that's on the second half of this album where, you know, I really like a lot. And the majority of the songs on the second half, it was just, I couldn't really get into it. And, you know, I tried to listen to it more more than I did the first half because of the fact, like I said, I like the first half of the album a lot. But the second half of this album, I don't know. It just, it just seemed really off and threw off the pacing, in my opinion. Now, I think the other question that a lot of people are going to have is, does he address anything in regards to the beef with him and Pusha T and the whole thing between his baby mother and also his alleged son? The answer to that is yes. He definitely addresses the fact that him and his son, he also addresses something in regards to his relationship with his baby mother and also his whole feelings and thoughts about the fact of him being a single father. So to hear something like that and to really hear him talk about it, um, I don't know if it's one of those things that if it wasn't for Pusha T bringing that to the light, if he would have actually brought that up. And, you know, I can't really say that, you know, he wouldn't he wouldn't have done that because I'm not in his shoes. I really can't tell you what he's thinking. I'm just I'm just going to give you my opinion. And if it wasn't for Pusha T, I feel as though none of this would have came out so soon. Now, the other thing about this, um, and I didn't really catch anything, and if he did say anything about the whole thing between him, him and Pusha, I'm assuming it's going to be on that first half of the album, be on that song, 8 out of 10, but I really didn't catch it, and you know, maybe you guys have caught it, and if you have caught it, uh, you can all fill me in on exactly what song that he does talk about it, but based off of what I've heard, the song 8 out of 10 is the only song that I can really say that he kind of addresses the thing with him and Pusha. But the majority of the time, he does talk about him, him and his son. And then, like I said, the relationship that he has with his baby mother. And also, he does somewhat bring up the whole fact of his father and his Steve Harvey suits, as Pusha T says. But um, overall, though... Out of, you know, the first half and the second half of the album. I'm split. I'm really, really split. And like I said, for me personally, I have to listen more to the second half of the album than the first half. Because of how much I enjoyed that first half. But, 
you know, like I said, giving it multiple listens and multiple listens and multiple listens on the second half of the album, um, it just it just seems off for myself. Not saying it's not a, it's not a bad album, it's not a great album, it's just an okay album. So for me personally, out of ten, I will give this between a six to six and a half. Highest I will get this is a seven, but I'm really really leaning more towards a six to six and a half uh, rating out of this entire album. To be quite honest, it's more it's it's a little bit of everything for for you know for the women, and it's a little bit of everything for you know the more hardcore, straightforward type people that like you know his older stuff per se. That is my thoughts, man. You know Drake's album, first half of the album is is great. Second half of the album is really spotty at, at best. So um, I want to know your thoughts, man. So leave all your comments down below. For all of you that are new, if you enjoyed this video and you like to be a part of the A-Team, make sure you hit that symbol on the right side of the screen. If you missed my previous video, that will also be on the screen for you to check out as well, too. I'm dying to know what you guys feel about this album and if you feel the same way I feel or if it's something that you guys have spotted out that I haven't noticed. Uh, feel free, chime, and leave all your comments down below. Till the next video, guys. I'll holler at you later. Peace.